Hello, I decided to test this new feature that is called follow-up questions in the Copilot sidecar. It's still in preview. It's in version 42 Dynamics 365 and then supply chain. So let's test it. Open the sidecar. Let me just refresh this. And first I decided to just post some general easy questions. So for example, how to create new sales order. So it provides me an answer, navigate to sales order, create a sales order, select customer add items, save, confirm, etc. Let's see more. But then at the end of the message, there are no follow-up questions. The expectation here that is it will ask me three questions at the end, like the next logical questions that I can select. So to maintain a conversation with the copilot. Yet here is just a blob of information and no follow-up questions. So then I decided to maybe just kind of pose a general statement, let's say, Tell me more about release products. All right, navigate to release products, view release products, select specific products, check on hand inventory. Yet at the end, just uh, AI generated content may be incorrect message, no follow-up questions, no three clickable next logical questions that the copilot would show me. Again, let's just try one more thing. Generally, let's say report as finished journal. All right, so when you pose the question like that, we see some historical articles, current operations, technological advancements, not really related to D365 finance and supply chain. And then finally, at the end, we see preview. What are those some recent technological advancement feature in Rough Journal? Can you provide example of notable rough personnel stories covered by Rob Journal? Again, I, I feel here it's talking about RAF Journal, not a report as finished journal. So there is some misinterpretation of what I'm asking Copilot. So as you can see here, it doesn't really provide follow-up questions related to Dynamics 365 functionality topics. So what I decided to do instead is just to ask general questions. So for example, how to find Dynamics 365 FNO environment ID? Copilot will give us an answer right here, and it will also give us the three follow-up questions. So how can I determine the version of Dynamics 365 finance and operation currently in use? quite relevant. What are the steps to configure integrations with external system in Dynamics 365 finance and operations? Again, relevant to the question that I was asking about environment ID. And the last one, is there a way to track changes made to configuration in Dynamics 365 finance and operations? So for example, I'm going to click on the first one. And that's how I think the idea here is that if I just start with a single question and the copilot provides me three natural follow-up questions, I can just select one of them to continue a conversation, right? So, and then just kind of build on it and move in the direction where I want to go. So again, it provides an answer right here, log in, navigate to help menu, go to about and check the version information, and then three follow-up questions as well as here, right? So we can also click on those. How can I identify the build number in Dynamics 365 FNO? So here's an answer how to identify a build, three follow-up questions. And as always, there is this reference that I can click on and it takes me to the related document that was used. Let's go back. And then I just said, all right, let me just ask a very generic non-D365 related questions at all. So who won World Cup 2022, for example? Should it know it? Should I use the Dynamics 365 Copilot to ask generic questions about football? Probably not, but I modified the copilot to allow AI to use its general AI knowledge. It's in that conversation boosting topic. And look at that. So it knows that Argentina won and it gives me three follow up questions. Which teams reached the semifinals in 2022 World Cup? What was the most memorable moments of the World Cup final? And who was the top goal scorer in 2022 World Cup? So let's just select that one. So quite interesting. The questions related to generic, general questions are quite relevant. So I think the functionality works great there. It's then when it comes to asking questions about Dynamics 365 finance supply chain topics, that's where the information is just provided, yet there are no follow-up questions. 
I kind of feel that it, this feature will improve because it's still in preview, but yet that's this interesting behavior that we are observing right here. So take it for what it is, but you're getting a sense how it will function going forward. And I think it's a great conversation boosting. Just kind of keep on asking the questions that Copilot finds relevant to learn more about the topic that you're trying to learn. Hope you find this video useful. Until the next time, take care.